Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my week 39 update of my fitness journey, which is insane. I can't believe I've been working out for this long. I'm pretty surprised, but like normal, I'm just going to share what I did this week, and then we are going to give you some updates, which in all honesty, there's not a lot of updates because I just kind of gave my full on review of a new workout I tried in the video. I don't know if that makes any sense, but whatever. And then I will show you guys the progress photos. Before we get into what I did, I want to apologize for like the background white noise. We don't have any air conditioning right now, so it was a little challenging working out today, but hopefully the air conditioner person will be here pretty soon. They said after five. I don't know. So starting off Saturday, I didn't do anything. Um, my aunt and I went to Disney Springs, hung out. I walked around. I did not count my steps or anything. We like ate, drank, shopped, you know, the usual stuff. So I didn't do anything like physically active that day. Sunday, I did the 20 minute intense workout, kind of like last week with the Jason Derulo eight minute hit ab workout. That one's still probably the second hardest for me. I really like it. Monday, I did not feel like working out. I was kind of just like wanting to rest. You know, I did that shot of tequila and I was like, mm. I don't know. I just wanted to take it easy, but I came across MadFit because I've been really wanting to try her workouts. I think it came in my recommended of one of the TikTok dances. So I decided to try the MadFit TikTok dance exercises. So I did her TikTok dance part one and part two. So combining that, that was about 30 minutes. And I will get into what I thought about the workouts right now. Okay, so I just got done trying out MadFit's TikTok dance workouts. Um, I did part one and part two. Um, I should have said that in the video. Oh my gosh, they like actually kind of killed me. Full review, I really like them. You should definitely try them if you like TikTok and you know the songs. It's so much easier to work out to music that like you know and like and it's like cool and groovy rather than like non-copyrighted music. If you have never danced, there's a lot of coordination that like somewhat I stumbled upon, but I'm sure if you like did this a couple times, you'd get used to it. She goes so fast. Like I don't know how like the whole like squats, she was like going like super speed. I'm like, okay girl, like, calm down but overall i was really impressed i'm going to probably start incorporating some of her workouts like her normal workouts in my routine i've been wanting to try mad fit for so long i reviewed a couple of her videos and they do look really tough like she's so fast and like <laughs> intense so i don't know we'll see but i just wanted to give a little you know dip my feet in the water with her dance workouts especially when i saw her tiktok one yeah i really enjoyed that um now i'm gonna get back on to pamela's like 10 minute hit workout honestly i didn't even feel like working out today so i thought her workouts were gonna be like super easy and then i would just do pamela's like super hard one but those were harder than i thought they would be and i'm like i've worked up a big sweat. So now I guess I'm just going to do this 10 minute hip workout and I'll be done. Sorry for coming into the video like this. Sometimes it's kind of weird, but I just thought I would give my first impression like right after I did the workout so I didn't have to like write it down and stuff. Okay, let's get on with the video. <laughs> so I think next week I'm definitely going to try more of MadFit's workouts. I know that you need a little bit more equipment and I do have equipment that I can use. I've just been choosing not to use it because it's from my mom and it's like old and I'll show you guys eventually, but the weights are like, there's no cushion on your hand. It's like just a plain metal thing. After I did the dances, I did the Pamela Reef 10 minute hit workout. The hardest workout I think ever. I don't know why I chose to do that one. The dances were a little bit more challenging than I thought. So I think I could have went without doing the hit workout, but I just like put that in the schedule because I felt like if I, only did the dance ones, I wasn't really like getting a full workout. Tuesday, don't work out, no footage there. And then Wednesday, I did the day one of the sweaty hard plan. And this sweaty hard plan is week 31. If you don't know where to find these fun little plans Pamela puts together, it's under her highlights on her Instagram. So it's Pamela underscore RF, I believe. I did the day one, which is booty day, but I did it on Wednesday. So it includes the warm up, the medium 10 minute booty workout, the 20 minute booty workout, the 10 minute booty, 
um, knee friendly and then the stretch I really like that one it's a lot harder than it looks and then Friday today I did the day six of the sweaty hard plan and the only reason why I did this was because there was a new 10 minute hardcore hit workout so the day three includes the warm-up the new video which is the 10 minute hit workout the happy dance the silent cardio and the stretch um, the hit cardio was, it was pretty bad, but it wasn't as bad as her, like, the one, I'll put the thumbnail on the screen. It's not as bad as that one. That one's definitely the hardest workout that I've ever done. It's like, I think it's the 10 minute hit. I was expecting this one to be harder than that one, but it actually wasn't. So it was kind of a surprise. Moving on to the updates. I think it's only really food, which obviously didn't do a really hot job. Fit Life Foods was so gracious enough to send me meals. They had a little bit more carbs than I probably would have liked, but I was still grateful and I still ate everything because it was super yummy. And that video is coming out pretty soon, so make sure to have your post notifications on. It would mean the world to me if you watched that video. Knowing me, I don't like trying a lot of foods, so it was pretty big for me to do a video like that. Food-wise, was like, uh. I also had a lot of chips and stuff because my parents recently went out of town. They brought home these really cool barbecue chips kind of from the north. They're called Snyder's. Yeah, I went through those like whenever my family gets together, we go out, we drink, we have like fries and stuff. So definitely this week was not the best food wise, but workout wise, I tried to keep it all like the 45 minute sweaty hard plan. So I was like burning more calories and stuff. As you guys know, I don't count calories. I kind of just look at carbs. I think counting stuff is kind of unhealthy mentally for you. So I try to stay away from that. Also one more update I wanted to include my mom and I, Sherry, we invited Valerie to do it, but I don't know if she's actually gonna do it. Um, we are gonna go back on our strict low carb diet where we kind of just like are super strict, no cookies, no this, that, no exceptions. We're gonna start another two week challenge um, just because we kind of like, you know, got off track there a little bit, but it's okay. It's just, you know, it's life, it happens. And that's why, I don't know, I hope that I've shown you guys that, you know, you can't just stick to one thing all the time. You take that little side path for a little bit with the cookies and the treats and Starbucks and stuff. Okay, so moving on to the photos. So Alex on the left is last week. Alex on the right is this week. This week I was definitely a little bit more bloated than last week. Last week was so good. Like, you know, sometimes you just have those really good weeks. And then here's the side view of that. Kinda, yeah, no no progress there. And then moving on to pre-workout Alex. So pre-workout Alex is on the left and current Alex is on the right. And then here is the side view of that. Overall, I am pretty happy with my progress this week considering everything, all the factors that like went into it. Um, I am pretty surprised. Also, you know, the week before the lady time is just, you know, you're just always hungry, all right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Question of the day, what is your favorite day of the week? That's super random, but that was like the first thing that came to my mind. I would love to know. I think mine is Friday, but it might be Saturday. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.